Hello everyone, Physicus here. This is a tutorial about the usage of JDAMs on the preset mode. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation on all the technical aspects of these weapons and their associated systems, but I believe that if you follow the tutorial, you will be able to use these weapons effectively. This tutorial is valid for all JDAMs we currently have in Falcon BMS. Specifically, GBU-31, both variants, GBU-38, both the high explosive and the inert variants, GBU-39, SDB, GBU-54 and their JDAM function, AGM-154-JSAW, AGM-158-JASM, and any other GPS-guided weapons I may have missed. Let's get started. Preparation. In order to employ JDAMs in the way I'm demonstrating here, it is necessary to set up your specific targets on the target area. This is something that has to be done before starting the mission on the 2D map. Go to your target area, right click on it, click on Recon. If the targets list isn't present, click on Targets, and then expand the target list. Pick the targets that you wish to hit with your JDAMs or the ones assigned to you by your flight lead. In this example, I'm going to attack Heiju Shipyard Port with two GBU-31s and I will pick the two transport cranes. I click on the first one, go to designate as target steer point, select steer point 99 and hit accept. I pick the next crane, select steer point 98 and hit accept again. If I had other targets assigned, I would continue selecting steer points on a decreasing order, always starting from 99. The reason why I do it this way is personal preference, as I prefer to not mess with the data of the navigation steer points, especially the time on target. Even on the target area steer point, which in this case is steer point 7, I prefer to leave that as more of a reference point to my target area and then reference my target steer point starting from 99 and decreasing. You can pick other steer point numbers if you prefer. After you are done assigning targets to steer points, you have to click on data cartridge. Click on the target section and then cycle the target steer points to make sure that you have the correct targets assigned to the steer points you intended. Once you are happy with your setup, click on save. Setup inside the aircraft. Once you are in the cockpit, before employing the JDAMs, they need to be powered on and aligned. The JDAMs power is linked to the aircraft, so their battery power will not run out, unlike the Maverick missiles. So I recommend powering on the JDAMs while you are setting up your aircraft before starting your takeoff procedure. On your ICP, go to air to ground mode. On one of your MFDs, in the SMS page, click the OBS next to Power Off in order to power on the GBU-31. You will see, at first, an INT is displayed, followed by an A with a number that decreases. This means the weapon is performing its GPS alignment. This process doesn't take too long, and you can do it in the air as well. But I suggest you do it on the ground, this way you are sure that when you get to your target area, the weapons will be ready to be employed. Deploying the weapon. Once you are near your target area, set Master Arm Switch to Arm, if you haven't done so already. Go to Air to Ground mode. Check your SMS page. If the letters RDUI ready are displayed, it means that the weapons are ready to be deployed. Select your target steer point on your DED. In this case, I will select steer point 99. As you fly towards the target, try to keep the azimuth steering line lined up as much as you can with your flight path marker. If you look towards the right of the HUD, you will see a vertical bracket and a carrot 
when the carrot is inside the bracket, it means that you are in range to release the weapon. The size of the vertical bracket will depend on your speed, altitude, weight of the JDAM that you're using, as well as any gliding capabilities it may have, or if it has propulsion like the JASM. You should also see the solution queue come down progressively along the azimuth steering line. Press and hold the weapon release button on your stick. When the solution queue reaches the flight path marker, the weapon is released. Cycle to the next your target steer point. Press and hold the weapon release button again until it is released. Repeat this process for all the targets you have selected. The JDAMs are a fire and forget weapon. You do not need to linger in the target area, nor do you need to maintain visual contact on the target. You can freely perform any maneuvers needed. And there we have it. JDAMs are an excellent choice to use when weather is an issue for your mission and or you're performing a type of one pass haul S situation. Keep in mind that JDMs will not be effective against moving targets. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.